Welcome back, boys, to the Paris Saint Germain save with my best goalkeeper. Wait, what? Yeah, that's right. Testigan now plays for Paris Saint Germain. Why does he do that? Well, because Paris Saint Germain wanted to pay me 60 million for Testigan. Um, been a great servant, world class goalkeeper, absolutely. But he also turns 31 in like a month time, well, two months time, sorry. Um, and yeah, it was one of the spots that we were gonna, I mean, not improve, but at least put in some young blood. So, how did we manage to do that? Well, yeah, we did the most obvious thing in the world and we bought Mr. Gianlu Gianluigi Donnarumma, which is a beautiful name. A uh, beautiful boy as well. I mean, look at him. <clears throat> 23 years old. I mean, we all know about him, right? World class goalkeeper. Boom. 85 million total. Um, ever since the summer, I've just been kind of transfer wanting him and I put him as a target and he suddenly was uneasy and uh, he wanted to leave. So I made a sneaky small bit and they, which they obviously rejected. But then he was furious and then he demanded to be transfer listed. They did at 85 and yeah, snapped him up. Um, I mean, perfect, perfect, perfect uh, replacement long term and it kind of fits everything we want. And uh, yeah, very, very happy. Uh, but how did we actually get that money? Because we did do a bit of business. Um, where is he, my friend? My friend. Oh, just because I'm looking at inns. Wait, where is he? Mr. Alex Collado. Just randomly. I mean, the best bet buy I ever made, which was from the B team, I guess, uh, went to Arsenal. I mean, I wasn't trying to sell him or anything. They just randomly bid like 40 million or something, five, 45 million. So I was like, no, but let's make it 70. And they were like, okay. And I went, all right. I mean, he never really played. And there's players in front of him in the queue. Even when we do rotate, he still wouldn't play. So, I mean, 70 million for him. Not too bad. I'm sure he could develop into a world-class player if, if he was actually given the game time. But So that kind of started the avalanche of the transfer window. I wasn't going to really do anything. But since we suddenly got money for him, all sorts of stuff happened. And then I bought Donnarumma. And then uh, Araujo went on loan as well. Funnily enough, to Milan. We are now playing in the Champions League. Like right now. Well, in a few seconds. Um... Other than that, then I had a bit of money left and I was kind of thin on midfield, so I've been scouting this guy for quite a while, uh, the regen, Roberto Di Benardi, who is, looks incredible, right? I mean, he's a bit of a wonder kid, obviously, but he already looks really, really solid. So I just kind of spl splashed the last cash I had, 15 million, and I bought him in to kind of play here and there. Uh, he's already started a few games, so uh, not too bad. Just a wonder kid, kind of, for the future. And this is kind of the same with these ones. I've actually started buying the um, some youngsters because I noticed my under-19 squad was actually very, very thin. It just doesn't have enough players to actually fill a team. So I just started playing, uh, uh, buying random youngsters. Like, <clears throat> and uh, I mean, look at the potential on all of them. I mean, not too shabby, is it? And uh, fairly cheap because of it. Obviously, in the Spanish, they need to have a release clause. So if you get the young ones, it's like, one million, two million, something like that, and you just, you can buy them. It's very nice indeed. So that is what we've been doing. Other than that, not much. Some loans here and there going out. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I did also show the picture because uh, something pretty funny happened as well. Uh, Mr. Cristiano Ronaldo wanted to leave Juventus, so he asked for a transfer. And, um, well, I put in a cheeky bit and it was accepted, but... As you can see, he doesn't feel that uh, the Barcelona fans will like like him, and he didn't doesn't have time in his career to fix that. So, oh well. I mean, it doesn't really fit our philosophy. But if I could have bought him in for eight million, it would have been it would have been fun just to have him for a season, right? Him and Messi. But speaking of Messi, I also gave him a new contract. I wasn't sure I would, but what till twenty six? What the hell? He bamboozled me for all sorts. I thought it was one year. Oh, well, I mean, I gave him a new contract. I was debating if I should let him go, but, you know, just keep him around. He's not going to be a super-duper starter any longer. Like, we're going to focus on the youth, but imagine having Messi off the bench. Pretty snazzy, isn't it? 
Other than that, I mean, the league is going fantastically well. Wins everywhere. We did get smashed in the semi Super Cup semi-final against Real Madrid. They battered us 1-4. We did play a completely rotated side because I honestly I couldn't care less about that cup, uh, that competition. So, <clears throat> uh, other news: we beat Sporting 4-0, so we finished top of our group in Champions League. 14 points. Salzburg go through as well. Quite interesting, actually, and that leads us to stages. Let's see. First knockout round, which is today, versus AC Milan. Did they buy a goalkeeper? I mean, did they, did they sign this guy or what? Actually, I, I actually don't know. I mean, they just did, right? Let's see their transfer history. Transfer, oh, transfer history. I'm kind of curious. So, in, date. Yeah, they recently just bought this guy. So, he is the replacement for Donnarumma. I mean, he looks alright, but... <laughs> Pretty funny that uh just stole Donnarumma and now we play them in the bloody Champions League. Uh should be fun. Um but now that I've mentioned his name like eight hundred times, uh he'll probably make eight errors and uh will drop out emphatically. You never know. Oh I just realized that Daniel Maldini. Is he Is he the son of He is indeed the son of and he also has a brother as well. Ooh, the brother is um twenty six years old. Not the best talent in the world. But what about this guy, Mr. Daniel Maldini? Looks pretty promising. I mean, was, I mean, we already have a scout report on him, so meh. Anywho. Yeah. That was a lot of admin, a lot of talk, all sorts. Uh, run the intro and then we'll play the match. Luckily, lads and lassies, it is time. I hope you enjoyed the uh, Barca anthem. Barca, etc. Um, yeah, this is the squad for Milan. It's pretty, pretty darn good. One thing that has randomly happened is because of an injury to uh, Mr. Mendes. I mean, he's back now. I've had to play Wijnaldum's uh, cousin. And he's just turning out to becoming... Uh, unexpected hero of this save. He is just so darn good. I mean, he's now four and a half star rating in this team, which is pretty insane. I mean, according to that, he's better than Haaland. Take from that what you want, but he's been playing amazingly. Same with Chikau, randomly. I'm changing Chikau to play uh, in the hole here, because we don't actually have anyone. We only have Petri and then Messi, but when I run to rotate those two, we don't have anyone to do that, so Chinkao has been playing in there for a bit, um, and he's been doing really, really well. Uh, and last game he played really well, so he's actually going to get the start today. Um, other than that, it's, now it's done a room and goal. We have to get used to that. And then Trent Delict Garcia now, and Weindal, Camavinga de Young, Chinkao, Messi, and Bappe, and then Holland up front. Pretty straightforward. And there's loads. I mean, we have Enzo Fati, Petri, Sancho on the bench. It's pretty scary, isn't it? <clears throat> the one player that has suffered a little bit because he was so he was injured for like quite a while. When was this? Uh, two months out with a torn hamstring, right? Um, so we didn't play a lot, Mister Fatty, and uh, yeah, he kind of struggled then, and uh, also he was knackered after the what was it World Cup, Euro Cup, or whatever. So he's kind of been struggling a little bit, uh, which meant that Mbappe has just stolen his place on the left, which is unfortunate, but. You know, that's always going to happen. You're going to have players that perform, and then all of a sudden they stop performing a little while, and then other players take over, and they start performing, and uh, that's kind of how it works. So, let's get into the game, because that's what we're here for, for some Champions League action, and Champions League success. That is what we want. The league is just going swimmingly well. I mean, I've been whizzing through the seasons because, or season because, yeah, we don't want to see the league anymore. We should be winning the league comfortably, and we already are. Like, it's so much more confident than the other seasons as well, which is even more scary. What we want to do is win the bloody Champions League, and this is where it starts, versus AC Milan. Oh, they still have Romagnoli. Bit of a wonder kid, Hall of Famer, right? But now he's 28, and he still he didn't really develop into... 
be the superstar that everyone thought, but I mean, he's still a very good player, right? Anywho, let's get into it. Are we at... Oh, we are way in the first one. Uh, close to... Well, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Don't know what, what I just answered, but... Let's get into it! <laughs> Holy moly! Finally, a bloody highlight! 33 minutes in. Okay, are we gonna count them here? And Papa just... Yeah, just keep running. Keep running. Keep running. Keep running, running, run, running. And crack no. I mean, that sounds... From something from Breaking Bad or something, but with the save. Okay, we're gonna do some Barca things now. Vindal, just do it. I, he, he does this all the time, just takes on everyone and loses the ball. No, he doesn't do that all the time, uh, trust me. Otherwise, Mendes would be playing. Trent, come on, Inga. Okay, nice and easy, don't lose the ball. Trent, just, yep, yeah, take on your man and then cross it in. Ooh, wow, that was a great, great, great run from him. And then Holland, just poach your instincts, I guess. Uh, uh, and he does the robotic wiggly thing. I like it. I like it a lot. Trent, look at the tackle that comes in here. It's so dangerous. I mean, but then he just, yeah. Bit fortunate, but Holland, you know, he reacts quickest and 1-0. Okay, immediately a highlight after. Trent, De Ligt, um, to De Young. Lots of interest for De Young, by the way. Like, Man United keep saying all sorts and I guess he's next in line he is getting up there in, in age wise so I might have to if they bid something ridiculous then um, I might have to just sell him and then oh that's a great pass uh, to Herrera but good save from Donnarumma of course he's playing at his old home as well so should be fun for him as Messi drives it forward and we're gonna count it from here let's hope so Messi to ooh that was a good cross though I mean, just look at Messi. He's 35 years old, right? But he's still just... <sighs> Good save on the line by Trent Alexander-Arnold. Uh, so it's 1-0 at half time. Mm. I'm going to say I'm not happy. Honestly, it's been a bit underwhelming, hasn't it? And stats-wise, I think it's very even. Yeah, they're actually... I mean, they have more shots, but we have more possession. I guess it's going all right. <clears throat> Just used to kind of smashing everyone in the Spanish league, and then I guess when you finally meet some decent opposition, it's not quite so easy. Um, so that being said, we're gonna make a change. Messi's not having the best game, her best game, oh, all right. Um, but who am I to judge nowadays? And same with Trincao. Let's put it's just Sancho on the right because, well, why not? It's either him or Fatty, but Sancho is like, mm, I don't know. I see more from him, even though he like goals and assists and all that might not might be the same or might. might I, whenever he's on the pitch, I see him doing stuff. Like he's running, which I guess it's a good thing as a footballer. Windell almost got sent off there, did he? But he wins the ball back again. Windell has just been such a revelation. Like he's so good, and he was just meant to be the backup. But that's why you have rotation and stuff. So he's good. Uh, and there he is, Sancho, on the ball, it's Mbappe, who's picked up a knockout, I guess, but great goal from him. What kind of injury is he running around with? I mean, it couldn't have affected him that much, with, uh, considering he just scored. Let's see, so Sancho is actually directly involved, he just drives it forward, and then a nice through ball to Mbappe, who makes the good run. Who's the right back, Danilo? Um, yeah, two now. Let's see uh, what's up with Mbappe. Potential thigh injury. Well, it's probably just a sprained thigh, but we're not going to risk anything and get put Fatty, Fatty, the slim guy uh, on the left. Yeah, as they have, yeah, I just noticed they have Maldini on the left. Gotta kind of love that. As Trent drives it forward. To Camavinga, to Sancho, and Petri. Wow, I mean, the two subs combined. That was a great goal. At least his work now is actually being rewarded, Sancho. Like I said, like, he, he always does it. He's always, he's never like invisible in, in, the, in the game engine, which is just what you want to see, right? Petri, and yeah, just good finish. It's just what you want to see. You don't want to see them anonymous, right? Stats are a good indicator usually, but really it's, it's using them things, like them, these things, these things, and then looking into the game, right? 
and sometimes Fatty, like Fatty doesn't get really involved as Mr. Tatty Chong just smashed it in, which is a great goal, but, <clears throat> but yeah, Fatty doesn't really stand out that much, uh, which is a shame, but I'm sure we'll have moments. Trent, is he going to shoot from there? Oh, that is a, that was a sneaky cross. Oh, and Petri with the good defending, a bit unexpected to stand to, and then he crowns it off with a goal himself. Wow. That is a great, great, great performance from San from Sancho. Off the bench. I mean, look at this from Petri, though. I love it. Good defending. And then he just sneaks it to Sancho, who a bit fortunate there. And then I don't know what the goalkeeper is doing, but he, I guess he's on crack, maybe. Um, but yeah, what an impact from Sancho. He's actually man of the match as a sub. That is very, very, very impressive indeed. And what? when did I... Take him off. I mean, who knows? Does it even say? Uh, where is he? Does it say? 65th minutes. So he had, what's that? 25 minutes and he became man of the match. That is impressive. Very impressive indeed. Whew, right? Well, a bloody good start to the campaign. I'm very pleased. And, um, yeah. Well then. There's a big gap in between this game and then the second leg, so I think I'm going to stop it here. Also, we had a bit of transfer bonanza in the start, so I'll come back uh, next episode with uh, the second leg, and then we'll see if we can do something else interesting. But yeah, Sancho on form for Barcelona. Damn right he was. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the show, and uh, press like and subscribe and all that. And uh, yeah, till next time, ciao! Or should I say, arrivederci, since we are in Italy.